Hey guys, I'm Ryan Wright. And I'm Jerry. So today, it's nostalgia for Jay and I. We actually met this man once. He spent some time with us to say like, hey, how'd you like my movie? And you guys are into film too? And he t really took an interest in us. Judd Apatow. All right, so Judd Apatow, Judd Apatow. he's that doing stand-up, which is interesting because I remember he said that he started doing stand-up, didn't think it was for him. And then he started So he sat down and started writing. And he started writing, <laughs> and he became a writer and director. Now he's doing stand-up. I want to see this. Let's see this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I know it's not that exciting to see me. I, uh... I'm not that famous. This is my level of fame. If I'm walking down the street and somebody says, are you Judd Apatow? If I say no, they go, all right. <laughs> my kids don't find me funny, which really pisses me off because that's all I have, you know? But I think every kid thinks their dad is goofy. Even like Johnny Depp's kid must be like, oh God, my dad with those freaking scarves. <laughs> this isn't a pirate ship, it's Costco, dad. I live with uh, three uh, women, three uh, beautiful uh, women, three ages of the same woman, actually. And, uh, and I'm like the weird guy in the house, you know, because they have so many things in common that they can talk about. They talk about their hair and how to make the curl look right and how to wax their eyebrows. And I'm just like the weird guy just going, can you pop a zit on a testicle? <laughs> kind of like into being like an ugly guy. I'm very pro-ugly. So it's weird living with three beautiful women, you know? I'm always like the troll in the corner, you know? I'm just like, you know, you don't know if people really like you and you're attractive. <laughs> people like me for my personality. <laughs> Beauty fades, I mean, you know, I'm, people always like me. All right, now my daughter is 17 years old. There's some boys coming around, and every time a boy comes around, I like, genetically just want to strike them, you know? Very, I want to like, hit them. And then every once in a while, like a boy a will show up who, who's really like a strange, weird kid. And uh, sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll think, oh, that's me. That's me in high school. And I'll say to my daughter, why didn't you date that kid? And then she'll go, because he's a nerd. I'm like, you don't understand him. <laughs> he's going to show people one day. His body's going to fill out continue to fill out. Uh, I, uh, I'm very proud of the Jews. It feels like we're not getting in that much trouble these days. Uh, in the world, we're doing well. We don't mind if you draw us or draw our gods, you know? Uh, and we should mind because any accurate drawing of a Jewish person is inherently anti-Semitic. A perfect drawing of me is like Nazi propaganda. Uh, Cosby is still out on the road. Isn't that weird? He's like doing stand-up. What do you think his act is like? Do you think he's still talking about it? Uh, you think he like says like, you ever been in trouble with the wife? A <laughs> good Bill Cosby impression would get me. You ever like get into the doghouse with the wife? You're in the doghouse with the wife because of something that you did. Like the other day, there was something about reading the paper, and uh, I didn't want my wife to read the paper. So I got up at five in the morning, and I snuck out to the driveway to get the paper, and I hid the paper, and the next day I got up and I hid the paper, and then the next day I forgot to get the paper. And my wife, she said to me, what is this in the paper about the raping and the drugging and the women? And I said, do you like your life? Oh, wow. oh. Do you like the, the house and the jet? Oh. Well, then they have a cappuccino and shut the flowing cup. Thank you. This is an interesting it's experience. Interesting, yeah. I mean... It's like you eat... <laughs> <laughs> you kind of don't expect like a whole lot out of Judd Apatow for that. But you do expect to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, you do expect. Yeah, right? <laughs> we're not like great stand-up comedians we're saying here, but we've... No, I'm we, terrible. We follow a lot of comics. It's just a little surprising because it does sound like someone 
is currently in stand-up class oh, and yeah. writing stand-up routines. Well, no, <laughs> yeah, this feels like watching a guy at the comedy club who's like clearly watched a lot of stand-up. He's well versed in stand-up history and stuff like that. He knows the structure and just can't quite get like a fresh or sort of out there topic enough to make the punchline work. Because like his setups are all right. It's the punchlines that just are obvious. Yeah, so, like, yeah, it was very, very much like. Mm, I feel like I've heard people make that joke before, actually. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, they're not stretches. Yeah, he really went to town with that Cosby impression. Yeah. See, here's the thing, it's like, John Apatow, like, we know him for, you know, his his movies, like, his, you know, scripted stuff, and even those have a lot of improv in them, so, like, you know, we know him from sketch and improv, but I feel like, you know, just having done a little comedy, it's like, those are three very different mindsets, like, your brain is yeah. wired one way for stand-up, wired a different way for improv, wired a different way for sketch, and I feel like every comic or comedian has a different level of each of those three. My level is reactions. That's not a school of improv. Huh? I guess it's improv. It's improv. It's improv. See? See? It's like my our brains are suited best for improv, but you, you can do stand-up. I'm not very good at stand-up. So like, Jed Apatow's probably more wired as a sketch writer and not as wired as a stand-up. Yeah. Well, Judd, you let us down. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Sorry. You can check out Reasons to Jerry on this channel. And, but honestly, Judd Apatow, I love his movies and Trainwreck just got like amazing reviews. I know, I want to see it. And I mean, that was a really special memory. It was, it was really yeah. cool to meet him. This doesn't make me like not respect Judd yeah. Apatow. Like. <laughs> we still love you, man. I, just, just maybe take another stand-up class. <laughs> yeah, I still love all this. I still, I even, I was watching Funny People last week and I still like that movie, even though like no one does. I, I like it. And we're going to be going to VidCon this week, so videos are a little bit delayed and uploads, whatever. Videos it's, convention. We're at this convention for the YouTube. For the YouTube. Go we're YouTube. going to go down there for the YouTube. We want to go to the YouTube convention. Go down to YouTube, you know what I'm talking about. Wow. We're going to go down to YouTube. I said, Jeremy Johns, you awesome tacular. <laughs> oh. Jenna Marbles, your tits are huge. Oh, oh, what if we meet her? That's awkward. Nah, that's gonna be awkward for me. <laughs> be like, do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen the channel? Before? This is how I talk. <laughs> this is, yeah. PewDiePie, I hear you love reaction videos. <laughs> When I created Spider-Man, 